hello students today we are going to discuss about examination of parasites that is by culture method so many parasites can now be grown in culture but this has not been uh, become a routine diagnostic method for detection of parasitic infections it is uh, sometimes employed for accurate identification of the parasite species it is more often employed for obtaining large yields of parasite as a source of antigen animal inoculation drug sensitivity testing experimental or physiological studies so some of the parasites which we can culture in the lab includes Entomoeba histolytica, Giardia lamblia, Trichomonas vaginalis, Leishmania species, Trypanosoma species, Acanth amoeba species, Necleuria fulleri, Belantidum coli, and Plasmodium species. So these are few uh, parasites which we can grow in our culture in the lab. <coughs> so we are going to discuss about the first media that is. Uh, Bork and Dr. Bolov's biphysics medium. So mostly in this media, we can grow the amoeba or like uh, Entamoeba histolytica parasite and some other intestinal amoeba as well. It can be grown in this diphysic or monophysic media, which contains other microorganism or exanic cultures. Okay. So, the medium as used now is basically an x -land. It is uh, the composition we will need uh, egg as well to prepare this media. So, the medium is basically an x -land with an overlay of sterile serum or liver extract and buffered saline. Then a loop full of sterile rice powder is added to the medium just before inoculation with fresh feces or its saline centrifugal sediment. Then the cultures can be obtained from feces containing cysts or trophozoites. After that, the cultures are incubated at 37 degrees Celsius and subcultured at 48 hours intervals. Then the in can be demonstrated in the liquid phase also in unstained mounds as well as stained smears so this is how the media looks like okay so how we prepare this media what are the composition or ingredients required to prepare this media it is also known as a log solution so we will need sodium chloride potassium chloride calcium chloride sodium bicarbonate, glucose, distilled water, and 4x. So these are the ingredients or the composition of Borg and Dr. Bolov's medium. So another media we are going to discuss is the Balamut's monophysic liquid medium. This is also used commonly for the cultivation of amoeba and other intestinal parasite or intestinal protozoa. This is also an egg yolk liver extract infusion medium. So, what are the composition of this Balamut's medium? It contains liver concentrate powder, egg yolk medium phosphate buffer, tribasic potassium phosphate, monobasic potassium and distilled water. So, out here both protozoa and bacteria are present in stools then bacterial growth can be reduced by addition of penicillin or antibiotics that do not inhibit protozoa the exonic cultures that is pure cultures without bacteria or other microorganisms were first developed by diamond in 1961 this exonic cultivation has enabled precise antigenic and biochemical studies on amoeba then we have Palantidum coli. This can grow. This can also grow as well in Balamut's medium. Then we have uh, Giardia lamblia, which has been established in associate, association with Candida and Saccharomyces, but 
axillic cultures were developed in 1970. Then another parasite we have here is the Trichomonas vaginalis, which can grow well in several commercially available media such as triptychase serum media. Then some parasites which are found in CSF or cerebrospinal fluid like Nocleria and Acanth amoeba. They can be grown on agar plates heavily seeded with Escherichia coli. So the next media we have is the triple N medium or Nicole Novi and McNeil medium. So mostly this media is used for the culture of Leishmania and Trypanosomes. These are the parasites which we can culture in this triple N medium. So it was first described in 1904 for cultivation of Leishmania, which is equally satisfactory for trypanosomes also. This is a defibrinated rabbit blood agar medium. So how we compose or what are the ingredients we added in this media? It contains bacto agar, sodium chloride, double distilled water and defibrinated rabbit blood. So we will be needing two bottles of culture. We will need two bottles of culture acceptably inoculated with 0.1 ml of specimen in each and then incubate them at 24 degrees Celsius for around 4 weeks. The primary culture is then examined every 4 days for pomastigode in case of leishmaniasis in, and for trypanomas Trypanosomasis, we will see the presence or absence of epimastigot for up to 30 days. So we have another medium that is known as Needles Insect Tissue Culture Media. It is recommended for in vitro culture of Leishmania. This medium as compared to triple N medium, it is more sensitive. So the composition of this medium includes needles, drosophila tissue culture medium, fetal cough serum, antibiotic, antimyotic solution. So that is how we prepare this medium. Out here we have the picture how the triple N medium looks like. Then next we are going to discuss about malarial parasite, how they can be grown in culture method. So cultivation of malaria parasite was first obtained by Bass and Jones in 1912. Out here we will add about 12 sorry 10 to 12 ml of defibrinated or um, heparinized blood rich in ring forms of malaria parasite mixed with 0.2 ml of 50% dextrose solution then incubate at 37 degrees Celsius in a sterile test tube in an upright position. Then the, you will see the blood separates into the erythrocytes will be above, plasma will, sorry, erythrocytes will be below, plasma will be above and the buffer coat will be in the middle or in between. Here malaria parasites grow in the erythrocyte layer immediately below the buffy coat. <coughs> Sorry. Then the smears are collected from this layer at intervals without tilting the tube or without shaking or moving tube. Then segmented chisons are usually observed after we incubate for 24 to 36 hours. The breakthrough in cultivation of malarial parasites came in 1976 when Treasure and Johnson successfully maintained Plasmodium falciparum in continuous cultures in human erythrocytes using Roswell Park Memorial Institute medium in, 19, uh, sorry, in 1640. Then these cultures are incubated at 38 degrees Celsius with 10% human serum at pH around 6.8 to 7.2 uh, 7 under an atmosphere with 7% carbon dioxide and 1-5% to oxygen. Then you will see a continuous flow system is used in which the medium flows slowly and continuously over the layer of erythrocytes. This method has also been applied to other species, not only falciparum, 
other species of plasmodium like plasmodium ovulate plasmodium vivax so these are the other species of plasmodium then it has been employed for preparation of antigens drug sensitivity studies vaccines vaccine uh, tests and many other purposes so that's all about the examination of parasite by culture method thank you